Hello lovely viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this video, we shall be discussing some questions and answers on Once Upon a Time by Gabriel Okara. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Once again, let us assure you of a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. The poem begins with a line A. There was a time indeed. B. Feel at home. C. Show me sun. D. Once upon a time. The correct answer to this question is D. Once upon a time. The poem presents the speaker as a victim of A. Colonization B. Hypocrisy C. Societal changes D. Poverty The correct answer to this question is C. Societal changes How many stanzas has the poem? A. 10 B. 5 C. 9 D7. The correct answer to this question is D. 7. The diction of the poet can best be described as A. Simple B. Archaic C. Complex D. Slang The correct answer to this question is A. Simple how many lines has the poem once upon a time? A. 50 B. 37 C. 43 D. 25 The correct answer to this question is C. 43 Which of the following has the speaker deviated from? A. Modern society B. His real identity C. His childhood D. His conversation The correct answer to this question is B. His real identity According to the poem, modern society is characterized by A. Genuine emotions B. Simplicity C. Hypocrisy D. Innocence the correct answer to this question is C. Hypocrisy The speaker of the poem makes readers aware of the ancient beliefs and values through his A. Tone B. Atmosphere C. Diction D. Mood The correct answer to this question is C. Diction the poem pictures a lively conversation between A. Two lovers B. A father and a son C. A mother and a son D. A teacher and student The correct answer to this question is B. A father and son According to the speaker, the modern society is characterized by the following accepts A. Politeness B. Fakeness C. Hypocrisy D. Genuine Emotions The correct answer to this question is D. Genuine Emotions Like a snake's bare fangs, this line exemplifies A. Personification B. Simile C. Paradox D. Assonance The correct answer to this question is B. Simile Once upon a time, when I was like you, who is the addressee? A. The readers B. The audience C. The speaker's son D. The speaker The correct answer to this question is C. The speaker's son 
How does a speaker intend to relearn how to behave in a natural way? A. By visiting the village. B. By imitating her son. C. By visiting family members. D. By visiting a traditional home. The correct answer to this question is B. By imitating her son. The use of father and son in the poem depicts A. Age difference. B. Generational gap. C. Family relation. D. Love and harmony. The correct answer to this question is B. Generational gap. The use of son in the point depicts A. Childishness. B. Innocence. C. Carelessness. D. Degeneration. The correct answer to this question is B. Innocence. While your left hand sets my empty pockets, this extract exemplifies a team of A. Greed. B. Materialism. C. Hypocrisy. D. Poverty. The correct answer to this question is B. Materialism. People in the modern society are only interested in meeting A. Well-mannered people B. Civilized people C. Famous and rich people D. Family members The correct answer to this question is C. Famous and rich people which of this is responsible for the change behavior of the speaker? A. Fake emotions B. Social media C. Western culture D. Tribal differences The correct answer to this question is C. Western culture What happens? When the speaker visits someone for the third time, A. They frown their faces. B. They pretend to be happy. C. They shut their doors at him. D. They sack him. The correct answer to this question is C. They shut their doors at him. Which of these pleasantries? Does the point use to fake cordiality? A. Welcome. B. Feel at home. B. Feel at home. C. Enjoy yourself. D. Good riddance. The correct answer to this question is B. Feel at home. Which of these does the speaker compare to changing clothing? A. Attitude. B. Faces C. Behavior D. Emotions The correct answer to this question is B. Faces How is the laughter of the poet reflected in the mirror? A. Lifeless B. Emotionless C. Like a snake's bare fangs D. Like a fixed portrait The correct answer to this question is C. Like a snake's bare fangs What does a speaker yearns for in the poem? A. Love B. Materialism C. Fame D. Childlike innocence The correct answer to this question is D. Childlike innocence Laugh with your eyes. Laugh with your eyes in the point means A. Laugh wisely. B. Laugh foolishly. C. Laugh wholeheartedly. D. Fake laughter. 
The correct answer to this question is C. Love wholeheartedly. Shake hands without heart. Shake hands without heart in the poem means A. Politeness B. Smartness C. Faking formalities D. Well-mannered behavior The correct answer to this question is C. Faking formalities The use of they in the poem symbolizes A. Civilized people B. Modern day people C. Europeans D. Western culture The correct answer to this question is B. Modern day people What is the speaker asking his son to teach him? A. How to play B. Childlike innocence C. How to smile D. How to pretend the correct answer to this question is B. Childlike innocence. What are the mutant things the speaker is referring to in the poem? A. Good riddance. B. The Western culture. C. The fake lifestyle. D. Emotions. The correct answer to this question is C. The fake lifestyle. The poem is basically a criticism of A. African tradition B. Western behavior C. Modern life D. Colonization The correct answer to this question is C. Modern life The title of the poem expresses the poet's A. The satisfaction of modern life B. Longing for the past C. Disapproval of hypocrisy D. Pain and agony The correct answer to this question is B. Longing for the past Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share this video.